I'm broadcasting from Solomon Island, inside a wall of fog. It's day, um, it's been, it's, Jesus, I don't know how long it's been, or what day of the week. I'm Tyler Freeborn. Solomon Island has been entombed inside a thick mist. I'm not alone, there are others. Other survivors and others. Prior to the... To the event, I posted several video reports about the Orochi Science Outpost. Those reports were quickly censored. The feds paid me a little visit. National security, they called it. They made threats. It was all pretty clear. I had no choice. When the mist came, they put their camp into lockdown. Nothing got in, nothing got out. They were safe. It was like they were prepared. For the rest of us, far as I can tell, the survivors were either unconscious, asleep, tied up, or out of reach of the fog when it happened. A couple people I haven't been able to figure out yet. Either they got very lucky or... or something fishy's going on. I don't trust anyone. No one at all. There's military personnel on the island. There are parachutes in the middle of the night. They're most likely working with the Orochis. Or for them. You'd have thought that if they could get people onto the island, they could also get people off the island, but... maybe they don't want to help us. So what are they afraid of? The truth? Us? Are they afraid of us? Are we... Are we infected? And what about that mist? Why can't we pass through it? Does it contain toxins? A nerve gas? Nuclear fallout? Is it a cult in nature, extraterrestrial? Whatever it is, it's the key to all that's happened, and I'm gonna find out. They were all warned. If you've been reading my blog and watching my podcast, you know they were warned. Again and again and... Christ, what the hell was that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? serving them for days now. They're... They're fascinating. I mean, I always knew they were real. All the stories, the pictures, the research, the legends and lore, my grandfather's stories, all of it real. I never had any doubts about it. But to see one of them in the wild, to film it, that's something else. It's what I've worked for, what I've sacrificed everything for. This is literally the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. Of course, the rest of it is not so great. But still, I need to follow it, see where it hides, where it lives, where it came from. I'll need to switch this off, but I'll document my findings somehow. Remember when I wrote about the pale men? Remember the stories? The pictures? Okay, okay, check this out. That's one of them. One of the pale men. They are real. They came with the mist. I think they belong to the mist. Or maybe it's the other way around. I haven't decided yet. You know the story of the Pied Piper of Hamelin? He had a magic flute. First, he lured all the rats in town into the sea. And then, after they refused to pay him for his services, he played the flute again. Only this time, it wasn't the rats that came with him into the water. It was the children. 
I could swear I heard music when the mist took everyone away, into the sea. I knew it wasn't natural. I warned them, but they wouldn't listen. They wouldn't listen. So I plugged my earbuds in, turned the volume up real loud, crawled under the table, and shut my eyes. When Springsteen stopped playing, everything had gone dead quiet. Susie's was completely empty. The whole damn town was empty. And the mist had pulled back out to sea. No more than half an hour at most. Those few days before they all came back were odd days. We lost a couple of people who tried to pass through the mist. We heard the screams. And we didn't know what to do. Why we were still here. Well, I knew. I know. I'm still here because I'm needed. It's my job, my duty, to find out what happened. What came with the mist, who the Pale Men are, what they're after, and what lies beyond. Beyond the mist. I'm going in. I think I got it figured out. I think I'll be okay. I don't think things are the same inside as they are outside. I think things are... twisted in there. If you breathe that stuff, it'll get you. Poison you. But it's the sound that makes you susceptible to it. Makes you do things you don't want to do. The music. Like the Pied Piper. We're children being lured into the sea into the nameless abyss, the ancient city beneath, where they sleep. I'm going in. I'm going to try and push through to the other side, wherever that is. I don't plan on coming back.
Row, row, row your boat. Gently through my dream. Terribly, 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 terribly. This is all I've seen. We want to see more. Release us. Wake us from the sea. Wake us all. Monsters. Much worse. Dreams. I don't know what's up with my dreams. I mean, they're so vivid and intense. Like I'm wide awake, and when I wake up, I'm exhausted. Like I haven't slept a wink all night. But I know I had. And I think sometimes, even when I'm awake, I'm still dreaming because I keep hearing the whispers. They're always whispering. Always, all the time. I've got so much to whisper about. 